Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now I know that we are running a little bit behind on uh, the monthlies, um, but I did want to make sure to integrate uh, the shell readings as I do want to give you guys a little bit more in-depth um, in depth readings uh, in regards to in regards to uh, what's happening right now astrologically. So as you guys know, July the 4th, we're going to be experiencing a lunar eclipse. So get your intentions out there. Make sure to cleanse yourself. Make sure to remove any type of negative energy uh, to start off basically uh, cleanse and vibrating to the highest of your frequency. All right, Aries, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2020. All right. Okay, so Aries, I do see some changes coming towards you. Uh, for some of you guys, um, there is a conclusion or some type of ending. Uh, a lot of you guys may be experiencing, like if you have children, it could be that they are getting ready or preparing to go to college, some type of graduation, some, some type of elevation in regards to their education. Now, with others of you, um, there may be changes uh, or experiencing changes in regards to breakthroughs. So what they're saying here is that there may be some challenges that you guys have been currently going through in regards to the professional so they are highlighting for those of you guys that have been having issues in regards to your professional sector meaning if you've been trying to go up the scales up the ladder if you've been having difficulty with supervisors or people that are of higher position um, all of that is going to be uh, basically minimized if not um, pretty much working itself out for you um, especially if there's almost like a feeling of like dragging your feet while going to work uh, because this energy or this this energy around you when it comes to uh, your business or where you make money where you work um, it's always like an overcast kind of um, you know just heavy energy and what they're saying is that that's quickly going to be spreading that quickly is going to be dissipate uh, dissipating um, and it could be because of the lunar eclipse that we're going to be experiencing again I do see a lot of like a lot of people up in management up in supervisor positions uh, being shaken um, it could be because uh, they haven't been completely ethical in their work or what they're doing uh, it could be that they put pressure on those that they see fit or that they see weaker all of that is going to be coming out. I, I see almost like an uproar of something that's been happening or that has been basically brewing and finally coming to its culmination. Now, for those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship, I do see you guys coming closer together or uh, a bond. Uh, it, it's almost an experience of either you or your partner going through a stressful situation where the bond is going to become much stronger even those of you guys that have been feeling like you guys haven't been that connected with your partner um, I think that due through circumstance there's going to be a challenge that is going to be need to overcome and both of you guys are going to be able to overcome it together so I think that's where the bond or the connection brings you guys back together and kind of reminisce or are able to look back and see the reasons why or a reminder of the reasons why you fell for this person or for your partner so I do see in regards to relationships I do see progress I do see um, receptive energy and very like communicative type of energy uh, what they're saying is a lot of compassion is something that uh, has been highly needed in this relationship or in this partnership and like I said for the coming of this month I see that there's going to be obstacles to overcome and I think that that's going to solidify the relationship it's going to strengthen it because it's almost like you guys are going to become or be becoming a support system for one another so very beautiful beautiful things coming for you guys as well as major changes so let's get on with your reading Aries let's see what the cards have to say for you guys Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus 
for the month of July 2020. What are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020? Keep in mind, you guys, that like I said, we currently are experiencing, um, we are currently experiencing having the Moon, Pluto, Jupiter, and Saturn in the sign of Capricorn. So a lot of major transformations here. A lot to do with what's happening right now in regards to government. You know, Saturn rules, all that that has to do with government, with higher authority. Anything that hasn't been working, it's kind of like the structure is going to be shaken. The structure is going to be broken or demolished in order to start something new or to strengthen something that uh, needs your attention, whether it be in your finances, whether it be in health, whether it be in uh, relationships. So, um, and then with the lunar eclipse, these are major, you know, um, major life changes that happens uh, when we experience these type of cycles. So again, keep that in mind. Now the two cards that fell out is the Eight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So like I said, movement in regards to your finances, movement in regards to uh, something where you thought perhaps was lost or uh, you were kind of losing faith in regards to something. It could have been a project. It could have been um, wanting to uh, strengthen something that has to do with your finances or like I said, growth within even the business. And it's kind of like circumstances or situations kept unfolding where it was becoming like almost like a sign from the universe that it's not meant to be and what they're saying is that these are just uh these are just process energies uh meaning that they're temporary it's something that is going to be very passing for you guys um so again keep your nose basically to the uh, keep your nose um at the grindstone you know really put that effort really now is the time not to back down but the time to actually keep pushing forward as only then will you be able to uh receive your rewards or be able to see the fruits of your labor now you do have here the two of pentacles with uh the hermit card so a lot of a lot of self-awareness is what's happening with you, Aries. For some of you guys, you guys have been on this journey in regards to finances, trying to stabilize, trying to attain. Uh, for some of you guys, even trying to get a house or trying to move out where you're currently at to find a better place. And what they're saying that though it may seem like it's been a journey for you, that will definitely be coming through for you. It's been long in the making. I do see you guys becoming more structured. Structure is something that is going to be very important for you guys for this month. So it could be structure in the sense of physically getting a new home or moving to a new home. For others of you, structure just in every single aspect of your life, trying to find balance when it comes to business, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to your children and being able to spend time with them. Now, I do see you guys walking away from a situation that is no longer serving you. For some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single, um, I think you guys have been really putting effort or really trying to be patient with a specific person. And what they're telling you is that now you're getting to the point of, uh, not, I don't want to, I don't like to use the word give up, especially when you guys have really put effort into this. But what they're saying is that sometimes it's best to let go. Sometimes it's best to let go of the feeling of having to be in control. Uh, only then will you be able to see progress. Only then will you be able to see things progressing in a better way. I think the more we panic holding on to a situation, a relationship, or a person, um, sometimes we are inevitably suffocating that relationship, and it almost seems like the more we cling on to it or the more we hold on to it, the more we kind of lose its grip. So again, what they're telling you is do not resist the changes that are coming. All of this is renewed type of energy. You do have the star card and the magician. So having all the tools having all the power to be able to manifest or to actually create the life that you're wanting you also do have the sun here so there is for some of you guys it could be almost like um a wish fulfillment coming through for you guys being able to attain either some type of recognition or some type of uh some type of project that you've been working really hard towards now you're being able to see the rewards or you're being able to see the progress that you've been doing keep on that path try the best you can to stay away from negative people especially the people that tend to be extremely negative or constantly always complaining about 
life about how things are going for them try the best you can to stay away from that why because you don't want them pulling down your energy you don't want to be carrying their energy either so it's very important sometimes it's okay to tell ourselves it's okay to outgrow people even if it's a brother if it's a sister and they just like you try to help them but they just continuously keep being negative uh, whether we accept it or not, it does start to affect our, our mental state of mind. So what they're telling you here, uh, Aries, is to uh, not feel bad about pulling away from people that are extremely negative. You are on a new path or a new journey. Uh, make sure to surround yourself with positive people, people that really are inspiring you and are helping you chase the goals that you're trying to attain. Very important, okay? So let's see what your spirit's direct message is for this month of July 2020 spirits message please okay so you have what do you need to release and it's time to release negativity exactly what we were just speaking about right now <laughs> this is so funny okay so what they're telling you here is you have it's time to release negativity full moon and scorpio so taking on the energy of that of scorpio oftentimes um sometimes it is very important to like i said let go of people that you've outgrown yes you love them yes you care for them and you know what you can love them from afar because if these are people that are constantly being negative or that are constantly always complaining about their life it believe it or not it starts to affect you whether it's on a conscious or subconscious level and you don't want to be you know carrying energy of like ungratefulness right now if anything with the sun and the magician it's time for you to actually acknowledge the gratitude the the blessings that you have whether it's been you know what this has been a crazy year or the past two years have been extremely difficult for me see them as blessings because these were lessons and you're coming out of it at the end of the tunnel and being able to see things from a clear perspective so be more grateful be more thankful um aries as well as like i said uh, stay mindful of the people that you surround yourself with and it's time to release negativity um, what do you need to release so again it's not necessarily people it could just be things that we're holding on to or that we're clinging on to or that we're still holding on to from the past that are still affecting our present sometimes it's important to forgive people not for them but for yourself the moment you forgive people you release that energy and they no longer have control or power over you and therefore they have no say in how you feel and sometimes that is necessary okay aries i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment and we'll see each other soon happy lunar eclipse